This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. In those places in this world where intrigue and danger go hand in hand, where death and disaster are the rewards of weakness, in such places will be found a man named Jordan. In a narrow street off Istanbul's Grand Bazaar, not far from the Mosque Valid Sultan, stands the Café Tambourine, run by a man named Jordan. The Café Tambourine, clouded with the smoke of Oriental tobaccos, crowded with humanity, alive with the babble of many languages. As Rocky Jordan and Tony Sherwood prepare to land at the Istanbul airport on their return from a trip to Cairo, they do not know that Rocky's enemy, Triplis, has returned to Istanbul before them and entered the Café Tambourine just a few minutes ago to force Ollie to let him into the storeroom of the café. Hidden in that storeroom are many thousands of dollars worth of valuables acquired by Rocky Jordan and his men when they robbed Triflis and his partner Chavez of the loot they brought into Turkey by escaping war criminals. Triflis, having failed to kill Rocky in an assassination attempt in Cairo, has returned to make one more desperate attempt to recover his valuables. As he walks into the storeroom with Ali, Ali closes the door. And there in the dark, the two men face each other. Triflis is nervous. He responds to Ali's tormenting with breathless threats to shoot... A box falls in a far corner of the storeroom. Two shots ring out, and a scream. These things Rocky Jordan does not know as he looks out of the window of the plane in response to Tony Sherwood's. Rocky, look, there's Duke, see him? Oh, are you daffy? You can't pick anybody out of that crowd yet. All right, don't be so sure. He is on a white suit and a wide-brimmed hat. Really, I can see him. Now, that proves something. In the first place, half the people in Istanbul have on white suits. And at least a quarter of them wear wide-brimmed hats. In the second place, Duke was never known to wear anything but a white suit and a wide-brimmed hat. I'm sorry I'm not impressed. All right. You know, Rocky, I, I hate to admit it, but uh, I'm really going to be glad to see the cafe tambourine. I've been away for so long. I thought you hated the place. Oh, I don't exactly like the place for what it is. But I have become very fond of some of the people whom I've met there. Huh? Like uh, Duke and Ali and Doc Martell and... Oh, you know, people like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, a nice bunch of people. And uh, you, of course. Well, I'm glad I got in someplace. Oh, see, there's Duke. You can see him now, can't you? Oh, yeah. Wide-brimmed hat, white suit? Yeah, two eyes, two ears, long nose, just like everybody else. All right, wise guy. Oh, your ears popping? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just as glad to be down again. You know, there's something about being on the ground that I kind of like. Oh, you're just glad to be back home, that's all. You know that you're never happy when you're out of sight of the cafe tambourine. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know, there's a new attraction there, Tony. One that you don't know about. Oh, there is? <laughs> Don't tell me you put in a floor show with a chorus. Well, not quite. But there's a new singer. Cute little trick by the name of Pat O'Day. Oh? Great for the business. Cash customers love her. The cash customers? Yeah. She's a very cute little redhead. Uh, lots of, uh, personality. Oh, you'll like her. Oh, I I'm sure I will. Well, come on, baby. This is the end of the line. Lead the way. I'm ready. I, um, thought you didn't like women in your place. Huh? Uh, working there, I mean. Oh, I made an exception for this kid. Oh? What's the matter with you? You like her. Oh, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. No wonder you were so anxious to get back. Oh, stop acting like a dame, will you? I hardly know the kid. As far as I'm concerned, she's just a singer. 
And a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, glad you're so happy with her. Yeah. Well, I'm sure anxious to see Duke and find out what's been going on at the cafe. Wait until I tell him Triphilus is in Cairo, that he tried to knock me off while I was there. Oh, Duke sees us. Here he comes. Yeah. Hiya, Duke. Uh, hi, Rocky. Hello, Duke. Hello, Miss Sherwood. Gee, it's good to see you home, Rocky. Yeah. Glad to know you appreciate me, Duke. I, I suppose you kind of hated to come back after the nice time you was having in Cairo. Oh, don't let him tell you anything like that, Duke. Rocky's been chewing his fingernails for the last thousand miles. He's been so anxious to get here. Well, how's everything? Oh, couldn't be better, Rocky. Uh, no excitement, huh? Uh-uh. Been pretty dull. Hey, uh, tell me, Cafe Tambourine still standing? Oh, sure. Absolutely nothing's happened, Rocky. Ollie's taking care of the joint now, and you're... Well, you know Ollie. Ain't nothing going to happen while he's there. Oh, I'll be glad to see him. Look, uh, go take care of the luggage, will you, Duke? We'll be seeing you at the car. Sure, give me the checks. Uh, here you are. Make it snappy now, will you? Okay. I want to get home. Yes, sir, boss. <laughs> Things sure do quiet down when you leave town. I swear I think that you're the instigator of all the trouble. <laughs> Maybe you have something there, Duke. Although I never thought of it in just that way before. Now, you take that guy, Abdul. You know, that Turkish gendarme who's always hanging around the joint? I haven't seen him since you left, Rocky. He just ain't been in. I know it. He's been in Cairo. Huh? We saw him there. You mean to tell me he followed you to Cairo? Yeah. He was there when Sean O'Day tried to kidnap Miss Sherwood. Sean O'Day? He tried to... Where were you, boss? I was there. Watching. Oh. I don't get it. If Sean O'Day kidnapped Miss Sherwood, how come she's back here now? Is Sean O'Day dead? I know. He's coming in on the next plane. He and Abdul. Oh, come on now, boss. What would Sean O'Day be coming here for? Hmm, that's what I want to know, Duke. But Rocky won't tell me. All right, so you're even. I won't tell Duke either. Uh, well, I guess that accounts for everybody but that guy Triflis. <laughs> He's the missing link now. We never did find head and a tail of him. Guess he must have got out of town after he escaped from that place we had him in. Yeah, he did. He escaped to Cairo by air. On the same plane I was on. Yeah, we had a long talk on the way in. Then how'd he get away from you this time, Rocky? He had a gun. He's making you work for your information tonight, isn't he, Duke? Yeah, that's the boss all over. Well, Rocky, are you going to tell Duke the rest of the story? Oh, you mean about Triflis trying to shoot me on the terrace of the hotel yesterday? Mm -hmm. he, he tried to shoot you? Yeah. I was called out on the terrace, and while I was standing there with my neck sticking out, Triflis lets fly with a couple of shots that don't miss me over an inch, and he drives away. Well, didn't you go after him? I don't know. I don't know the town that well. Hey, look, don't ask so many questions, eh? Rocky's bored with the whole thing. Yeah, I can see he is. So Sean O'Day kidnapped you, huh? Didn't that scare you, Miss Sherwood? Mm-mm, I wasn't kidnapped long enough to be scared. You know, I, I rather enjoyed what I saw of being held for ransom. Oh, that O'Day joker's a tough man. I've been hearing about him ever since I got out here in the East. They say he's very sharp and very strong. And very well connected. Yeah, he's quite a boy, all right. I like the big flannel mouth. He's a businessman. Mm, changed your mind about him a little since he was making you and the boys tow the line at Shepherd's Hotel, haven't you, Rocky? Yeah. Mm. Hey, did you find me that boat I sent you after, Duke? Yeah, Rocky, I got you just the boat you wanted. Twin screw, 48 feet long, sleep six and sea going, and plenty of speed. Just made to order for Good. one. Good. When can I see it? Well, it's yours. I told the guy that who owns it that you take over today. That's what you told me to do, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. And what have you heard from Senor Chavez? He called me once and asked when I expected you back. That was, uh, let me see. Yeah, that was yesterday. Uh-huh. I told him I expected you in tonight, and he said to have you call him tomorrow. He's got news for you. Good, that's fine. Sure. Anything for a dollar, Jordan? Well, uh, this deal with Chavez is going to bring in plenty of those pretty dollars, baby. And I've had worse friends than a bankroll. Well, tomorrow morning we get back in the groove, Duke. Never an idle moment. 
Um, what are you going to do, Rocky? First, I'm going to go see Senior Chavez. Uh, yeah. Hey, look, Duke. How about stopping by Chavez's house on the way in? It's right on the way. Yeah. You want to do that, boss? You wouldn't mind waiting a minute in the car, would you, Tony? Well, of course, I, I would like to go to the hotel and get some different clothes on. You know, I've been traveling oh, and I... Oh, this will only take a few minutes, baby. Oh, I know you and your few minutes. Why can't you go past the hotel and drop me there and... And then make your call on Senor Chavez. But, honey, we have to go almost right past his place. Oh, you can't it... be in that big a hurry to see him. It'll keep a few minutes, won't it? I know that if you ever get in there, I'll be sitting here in the car for an hour. You know, you've done things like that to me before. All right, Duke. Skip it. Right, Rocky. Well, you don't have to sound so surly about it. How do you expect me to sound? Pleased? Oh, for the love of Mike. If you're going to pout... By all means, stop by and talk to Senor Shot. Uh, not now, I won't. We'll get rid of you first. Um, you haven't said a word to me in five minutes, Rocky. That's probably the best break you've had for a long time. You mean I wouldn't like the words you're thinking? That might be it. All right. I'll leave quietly. Do you want me to come over to the tambourine later this evening? I'm not sure that I'll be there. You can do whatever you like, of course. Um, I'll be over in about an hour. Okay. Shall I carry your bags in, Tony? If you call a boy, Duke. Oh, sure. Well... Thanks for the company, Curly Lux. You're welcome. You know, it was kind of fun being in Cairo with you. Sorry we didn't take more time to see the city, baby. Cards just didn't fall that way, that's all. They'll never fall that way for you, Rocky. What do you mean by that, Crack? You just don't like things to be nice and restful and... Think I like being shot at? Or having my girlfriend kidnapped? What's the matter, you crazy? No. But I think you'd be bored with an evening of dancing and romancing, like other people enjoy. That's what I was looking forward to in Cairo. A chance to see you relaxed and get to know you. Believe it or not, baby, that's what I was looking forward to. Sorry it didn't work out that way. We'll try it again sometime, huh? I guess I'm never going to get any smarter. I believe you mean that. I do, baby. You know I do. And you're... You're not sore, are you? Of course not. Hey, bags all taken care of, Miss Sherwood. Okay, thanks, Duke. See you later then, Rocky, or maybe tomorrow. Okay, baby. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Tony. Uh, well, uh, well, Chief, Cafe Tambourine, huh? Yeah, and step on it. <laughs> She is, Rocky. <laughs> the cafe tambourine. Hasn't changed a bit, has it? You haven't been going that long. Now, <laughs> uh, come on. Let's get in there, Duke. We can send Ollie out after the luggage later. Okay, boss. Oh, boy. It's good to be home. Well, hello, Hakeem. Uh, uh, Rocky Jordan, quick. Something has happened. What's the matter? Ali, he wants you in this storm at once. <laughs> Rocky does not know of the surprise that awaits him in the treasure-laden storeroom of the Café Tambourine. He does not know that Triplis has made his way to Istanbul and that he has forced his way into the storeroom of the Café Tambourine. Do not miss tomorrow's exciting episode of... A Man Named Jordan. A Man Named Jordan is written and directed by Ray Buffum and is presented every day, Monday through Friday, at this same time. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.
Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.